before we get started, don't forget to check out our entire group of shows, our podcast, our webcast, archive, and so much more, and our shopping links there at www.afterdark.com. There you can support our show. We're on Patreon. We have our Amazon links. You can book your Disney trip with Kristen at MagicalJourneysVacations.com, and so much more. Make us your one-stop shop for everything you need for your home. And, uh, and your Disney trip, by the way. All right, just bookmark that page, www.afterdark.com. Go shopping and check out all of our great shows there, www.afterdark.com. Ladies and gentlemen, we are currently holding for further traffic clearance. Check out Kristen's new website, MagicalJourneysVacations.com. For all your vacation needs, Disney, Universal, Cruise Lines, and more. Thank you for traveling with us. MagicalJourneysVacations.com. Have her book your magical vacation today. WDW After Dark presents Disney Discussion, a roundtable panel. Rather stay at the Avengers Man. Which one of the which one of the well you see that's a whole other discussion topic, is it? Which yes, one of the is too late? Oh my goodness me. All right. So uh, we're also joined by a uh, fellow comic book nerd and video gamer vlogger, Jeff Davis. Hey, how's it going, Jeff? Hi, how are you doing? Are you doing wonderful after your fantastic trip to Walt Disney World? You know what, man, I had such a great time. And like everyone else, the trip was too dang short. I, I, I could have stayed oh, another okay. No trip is days. ever long enough when it comes. Yeah, it's never well, long you enough. See, you Real left quick, on give me, give me. <laughs> Go ahead. What's that? I said, you left on vacation and came back for a few days, and now I'm going on. I left on vacation and came back, so it's kind of like, you know, yeah, yeah. craziness, you know? Absolute craziness. What, uh, what was your favorite uh, experience for food and wine this time around? You know, I have to admit that um, there was so much good food there. You know, once mm. again, I think I think I like the Chew. Um, they had like a, the Chew Collective, I think is what they're calling it. They Previously, they called it the Chew Lab. And um, they had some really nice, um, uh, I guess, I hate to say organic, but maybe it was organic, but it was a, it was a whole mixture of, of, of fresh taste and it's over there by interventions before you actually go into, you know, world showcase. So they, yeah, they yeah. food and wine is really just spilling out into all the other areas right before you go into world showcase. So that whole sure, area yeah. right there, not on the left as you go toward Mexico, but on the right, as you go toward, um, toward, um, Canada. That's that's that side, where you know what I'm referring to. Yeah, that all area. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. So, um, but man, tons of people, and let me just say that, wow, the humidity was like near ninety percent humidity, and I was sweating. Wow. I was wearing my white monorail shirt, and I was hurting. Like I was sweating. I had my white backpack because I know now that my mm. black backpack during those days I ain't gonna cut it. And it got to the no. point where we, no. we were so hot that when we took, we wanted to take a break. So we made a beeline all the way to the Canada pavilion um, to watch Martin short and try to cool down. It was even hot at, at Canada circle vision. It was hot. And um, we couldn't, we couldn't take a break. We ultimately had to go to the UK to Rose and crown pub and try to cool down. Luckily for us, we, we were able to get some good air conditioning. But man, is it? It's rough, man. It was so rough. Knock back a uh, couple of cold ones while you were in there. Oh, you know it, baby. <laughs> I was yeah, uh, yeah. I was having a few black oh, and tans yeah. myself. I had to do oh, it. Yeah. But uh, you know, there were yeah, that's, that's right. Good. There were a lot of people. I will say this: that I uh, I keep on promising to insert the clip of you trying escargot at Kristen and, and, and my behest um, a few years ago. Yeah, you said you were going to do that for uh, the last show, and it never happened. I did, I did, and what happened is my laptop, has, it kept on crashing, and I just gave up. I said, forget it. I cannot, I cannot continue to do this. So I had to back oh. up my drive before I went on vacation, and then now I'm tempted when we come back and Kristen's able to join us again, I will insert that clip provided my laptop continues to to operate right now it's the the you know the fans on so we're okay 
but uh, luckily for us, knock on wood, we have. I remember those days of my last laptop. Oh yeah. Oh yeah, I remember those days too because you had the same issues that I had. You know, just intermittent shutting down and all that. That's why you need to support us on Patreon, folks. So, uh, <laughs> yeah. so, uh, but yes, um, food and wine festival, great um, people, a lot of them. Um, definitely check out the Chew Collective and the craft beer section. They do have very dis- distinct craft beer sections this year. Check out the burger joint. Check out the uh, the American Adventure. Uh, check out Eat to the Beat. By the way, periscope of the Wang Chung show that I was sitting, we were sitting like second row for. Just a bit of it. Okay, a little bit. Every, not much. Everyone said everyone said the audio sounded great, and it did. I mean, when you look you look back on it, and you can play it. Um, hopefully I'll up, be able to upload it on YouTube or whatever, but if you can play it on your, your big TV and, and throw it up there, wow, the sound is impeccable. So uh, okay. Wang Chun was awesome. But what we did not catch there on the last night was Starship. <laughs> so, oh, because guess what, folks? We've seen Starship a trillion times. <laughs> <laughs> we really have. And that takes us into our Disney discussion for tonight, Mr. Eric Allen, uh, what are we going to discuss tonight? Okay, well, it's funny that you mentioned the Eat to the Beat concert series. Uh, Eat to the Beat concert series this year, and let's just go ahead and, and run down who's going to be there this year. Uh, you already pic- pictured uh, Wang Chung, you already talked about Wang Chung and Starship. Uh, also have Air Supply, Bodine's Fuel, Sugar Ray, Los Lobos, David Cook, Wilson Phillips, Blues Traveler, Plain White Tees, 38 Special, Jeffrey Osborne, Tiffany, Dennis DeYoung, Christopher Cross, Toad the Wet Sprocket, Shaka Khan, Billy Ocean, Living Color, Hanson, Soul Asylum, Delta Ray, Boys to Men, Sister Hazel, and Big Bad Voodoo Daddy. That's a crap load of music, people. That's nice, Eric. Good job, buddy. And... I've noticed it, we've we've gone back and we've tried to compile a list of everybody who's been to uh, the the Eat to the Beat concert series as you know a musical act, and I have found records going all the way back to 2004. But I figured, you know what, that's a little too far back. So what we're going to do, we're we're going to take a snapshot of the past ten years. 2006 to 2016. Okay. So guys, I'm going to throw, I'm going to throw a few numbers out there for you. Um, Yes. Through the magic of Microsoft Excel, I was able to compile all this. (laughs) There have been a total number of 79 different musical acts in that, in that time period. Okay. Out of that 79, 34 of those acts only appeared once during that window, whereas 13 acts have appeared five or more times. Now, guys, who do you think appeared the most during that window? Okay. Okay. What about you, Jeff? Hmm. I can't even begin to imagine. I have, two, I have two. I have two that I'm thinking of. Just okay. right off the top of my head. One, I really don't know. I'm going to be honest be, with you. I, one would be Starship. Okay. The, other one, the other one would be Big Bad Voodoo Daddy. I was okay. thinking that. Or Boys to Men, maybe. Okay. Well, the number one appearing, the, the one act appearing most in that, that period, we're covering 11 Eat to the Beat concert series. 11 iterations of it. Starship's been in all 11. (laughs) And actually, they've been in the two previous before the window that I was able to find. In 04 and 05, they were in there as well. Uh, Big Bad Voodoo Daddy, Boys to Men, and Sister Hazel are all tied at nine appearances each. Wow. Yeah. This is great stats, Eric. You are the master. And then, then... You go down to 38 Special, Air Supply, Hanson, Night Ranger, and Sugar Ray, all tied at seven. Billy Ocean and John Cicada uh, are tied at six. Dennis DeYoung and the Pointer Sisters tied at five. Uh, Christopher Cross, Smash Mouth, and Wilson Phillips, all at four each. And then you just kind of go on to like three, two, and one. That's impressive so, list. 
those are like the uh, eat to the beat all stars right there. Yeah, pretty much. Yeah, uh, so no it, it's pretty much a guaranteed starship going forward. I mean, I don't know if if, if you know if God forbid you know the cast all dies. Oh no! They're gonna they're gonna make an animatronic version just to bring it out. It can be kind of like the American <laughs> Adventure. <laughs> Quit the rotating stage. You've like uh, uh, you just hecked. You you put a hex on Starship right then and there. <laughs> Good God. Mickey killing. Thomas, if you're listening, I am so sorry. Killing me, Smalls. You're killing me. <laughs> the city that they built is now crumbling, literally. It's, it's we gone. built this city and we recreated uh, it with audio animatronics. Oh but my no, God. They, I've given you all this statistical bleh, to set up our top five discussion for the evening, the top five acts that we would love to see at the eat to the beat concert series. Mm -hmm. Now to be clear, these can be, they can have been here before. So don't think you have to, to get people that have never appeared just long. You haven't seen them in a while. You want them back or you know of one that, you know, they haven't been around. So you want them to join up. Sure. That makes sense. You know, for uh, this is a great list, and Eric, you put so much effort into compiling this list. And I and I'll say this: uh, my list does not contain super bands, and this is my um, this is my reasoning. Um, super bands like Pink Floyd, Aerosmith, U two, um, Van Halen, um, those type of bands, or you know, you can even say people like. Um, uh, Carrie Underwood, okay, because they are at this point, or Taylor Swift, this point at the game, they are way out of the price point and they fill up wow. stadiums, folks. They fill, yeah. we're not talking about theater acts. I mean, these are stadium acts. I mean, yeah, you know, but you, you can, can you can also reference it for later on down the line because you know for yeah. some it's not going to always be like that. They're not going to be true. number one at the top forever. No, no, they're not, you know, but, um, you know, I don't foresee George Strait ever doing eight to the beat concert series. You know, I mean, the guy sold out but, freaking Dallas stadium for heaven's sake, you know, and I know he's retired. That's the whole that. point of the, of the top five is you know, acts you would like to see okay. whether they're in super stardom or not All right. at the well, current time. You know, fair enough, Mr. Carrie Underwood. I will, I will concede to that. Yeah. And, uh, because uh, I know you want to see Carrie Underwood and to be concert series. Because I know this. that, right? I know this. So, but I'm just telling you about my list. So you know, yeah. my list may be a little bit more tangible at this point, you know. But and that's cool. That's, okay. and that's, that's cool. Okay. That's the that's the bands you want to see. There's yes. nothing wrong with that. If you want to go all polka bands, there you go. <laughs> Poka, 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 poka. I have a, I have a, I have a feeling I have a feeling that the Foo Fighters will not be or Kiss will not be performing at the E to the Beat no. concert series. I'm just saying. But dear God, but, would uh, that I not be awesome? Either. Would it not? Can you Kiss can you at the imagine, Food and Wine? Are you kidding can you me? Imagine Kiss performing at an E to the Beat concert series in all makeup. Oh my God! Oh yes. My oh no, they would they would have to have full makeup to do this. I'm sorry, oh I can't do it any other way. All right, so this is once again, folks. Yeah. Uh, we're we're gonna roll on this, and I will I will also mention the fact that if uh, if I need to play some clips over the phone, I will do so um, because I for, I forgot to tie in my other um, virtual audio uh, audio cable to uh, play it over my microphone. So we shall do what we can, right? All right, all right. So uh, are we getting ready to start? Yeah, who's going first? Who's going to be that guinea pig? <laughs> you can. Oh, okay. Yes, Eric. Go ahead. All right. My number one, or my number five, I guess. My number five is Yanni. Ooh. Mm. If you think about it, a lot of his music mm. is played in the park as background music already, particularly around yeah, Wonders of Life true. and Rest of Future World. So... Mm. I think I think that's a logical extension. Wow. Have you ever seen Yanni live before? I've seen video. I've not seen him in person. No. There's a little Yanni for you. 
<laughs> yeah, that just sounds like World Showcase music, doesn't that? Where's Keeps to Imagination, dude? <laughs> I, don't, I don't have that queued up, man. I'm sorry. Oh, man. Uh, <laughs> no Santorini? My favorite song no from the photograph? No, I'm having to call it up on the phone. Yeah. By, my hard drive is off out of commission for, for right now because of the streaming here. Called Until the Last Moment. That's one of my favorites from him. Yeah, nice. that's a good one. Looking glass. Looking glass. Looking that's, glass. That's that's yes. it. Yes. Very good. Very nice. Yanni puts on a great uh show and their drummer actually lives in Nashville here. And um uh they're they're a great band if you've never checked it out. But that would be interesting. I wonder how many people would even um you know, a lot of these Eats of the Beat concert series bands are, are gonna be rock or pop or or yeah. you know, kind of R and B acts. Yeah. But uh, Yanni would bring that new world thing. I think that would be pretty neat. Good I job. think it would, I yeah. Like it. I like it. Jeff? Nothing about my list in any way, shape, or form. Realistic by any of you. And that's just how the cookie crumbles in this Blue situation. Blue sky is good. This is total blue sky territory. Yes, yeah. Now, this is the dream sheet. Okay. <laughs> this is the dream sheet for me. <laughs> and uh, you know what? To have a dream sheet like this, uh, you've got to be living on a prayer. And Joe will be at number five. Nice. Bon Jovi. Would literally yes. be living on a prayer. Yeah. I like it. I would love to see Bon Jovi there. Yeah. I like it. I have a- uh, Of course. But I'd love it. I'd love it. Of every second of it. You're not the only one, man. You're not the only one. We love Bon Jovi. Can, can you imagine the crowd that that would draw at the American Gardens <laughs> Theater? Oh, my you know, gosh. You know, Disney is needing to get attendance at Epcot up a little bit. I, I yeah, think that are. would get yeah. That'd do it. Yeah, it would. So that's there it is. Oh yeah, everybody yeah, writes good stuff, man. Oh, I know. I know. It. Hey, hold on. Oh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you got to get the chorus in there, man. You got to get that. Chorus. Oh yeah. yeah. So yeah, that's my number five. I like it. I like where your head's at. No, that's good. Bon Jovi. Kristen saw Bon Jovi live with Chris Daughtry, and uh, you know he does like to shake it. That's for sure. He, he puts it all out yeah. there for the women. That's for sure. So my number five is along the same era as Jeff's. However, it is not the same genre. Um, this is more of a postmodern uh, type, of, um, type of band. And I'll just play this. How about this? If anyone can remember this. Most of you can figure that drum beat out. That's right. In XS. I love this band. Yeah, right? One of my favorite bands of the 80s. You know? Yes, Michael Hutchins taken from us way too soon. Absolutely. Way too soon, yeah. You know, I was on the air when Michael Hutchins died. I had to announce it on oh, air. Oh, man. No. I was at WKDF in Nashville. Mm. Between him and Kurt Cobain and uh, Shannon, who, who, Shannon Hoon, I think, from Blind Melon, I was on air yes. when all of those deaths were oh, man. It was horrible. Mm. But, um, but yes, uh, Michael Hutchins, gone too soon, but in excess, still performing. Uh, shows every now and again with guest singers, and I think they would be an awesome uh, that band would be to play. Neat. Would be neat. And um, I, I think they would. I mean, can you imagine the crowds that would be there to watch In Excess at American Garden? Oh Stadium? yeah! Oh my god! Oh, yeah. oh man! You kidding me? I'd love to see them right now. And we saw In Excess <laughs> actually. Um, we saw In Excess at the Ryman Auditorium in here. So at least Chris and I were able to see them in Nashville, and it was an outstanding show. So there you go. Anyway, guys, there you go. That's my number okay. five. Number four. My number four is Huey Lewis and the News. Oh, oh good one. Yes. Very they good are, one. Yes. They're still awesome. they're still touring. They're still performing. 
And yes, yes, one of their most well-known songs was for a Universal movie, but that's okay. We'll let him perform it. Oh, yeah, man. I was going to call it up, but unfortunately, like, I've got all these live tracks popping up, and this is not helping me. <laughs> oh, wait, wait. Okay, so I got it. I, I've got to I gotta get out of this Marty McFly thing here. Hold on a second. Yeah. But, uh, <laughs> like, I don't want to see the DeLorean. I don't want to see that either, but there we go. We love Huey, Huey Lewis. Yes. I yeah. wanted to be in that band. You see, all of these bands we're going to be bringing up, I'm going to have some kind of story. You guys share your story if you'd like. <laughs> but for the longest time, there were two bands I wanted to play guitar for growing up. If one of the, the bands got the guitarist got injured, one of them was going to be Heart, because I love that band so much. And the other one was Huey Lewis and the News. And to this day, I tell people, if Huey Lewis and the News were ever going to not have a guitar player, I would want to play for Huey Lewis. <laughs> I'd want to be in a Huey Lewis tribute band. <laughs> <laughs> I know you guys laugh. Laugh it up. But it's true. It is so true. Anyway, Jeff, how about you? <laughs> uh, number four, let's see. Oh, gosh. You guys know who Steve Perry is, right? Oh, yes. Mm-hmm. You guys know who Journey is, right? Yes. Mm-hmm. I'd love to see Journey in its original form oh, yeah. on that stage. Mm. That's not bad. Don't stop believing, Not Jeff. bad don't at stop all. stop believing. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, don't stop believing, literally. Should have um, been gone. <laughs> well, which track would you want to hear? You know, there is a oh, huge yeah. Disney connection. Okay, you remember the Disney connection with Journey and, and Disney? Sure I do. Yeah, yeah. I remember that. It's just, it's another band. There you go, Jeff. This is for you. Oh, I totally missed the chorus there. <laughs> Here it comes. There it is. There it is. Man, what a great band. You know, it's it's another one of those bands that, like Bon Jovi, shaped the course of music for their time. Mm-hmm. And who out there you and, and I and I say this for people of all ages, whether you be a teenager, whether you be fifty years old, whether you be twenty years old, whatever. Everybody pretty much knows a Journey song or two. Yeah. And to have that type of a, uh, a wide range of an audience is perfect for the Each of the Big Concert series and can, can really, really appeal to a lot of people. And, and, and the age demographic that got yeah. for the Food and Wine Festival at the same time really caters to that in a big way, huge way. So mm-hmm. Journey is my number four. Yes, I knew you were going to choose that, Jeff. Believe it or not, I knew I knew between you and Eric, someone was going to choose Journey. But uh, Eric, how about how about you? Well, we've already done my fo- number four. Oh, then we already did. It's your, it's your number four. four. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Uh, so that's right. Uh, good old Huey. So my uh, my number is it already number four is uh, Duran Duran. Oh, nice. And uh, it's funny, as I think of, of these bands, and you guys are throwing out some really awesome bands that I have a lot of fond memories over, these, this, this band I actually did see live again, too, and they were great. And um, believe it or not, this band was founded in 1978. I can't believe it. I, I just can't believe it. And I was watching a documentary on them not too long ago. And it's hard for me to believe that, uh, you know, they've been around as long as they have, but wow, what an awesome show. And uh, it would be really cool to see Duran Duran. And yes, I almost did not include them um, as one of the bands. I wanted to maybe include more smaller bands, but hell, 
Why not? If this is who you want to see, this is who you want to see. Absolutely. You can be hungry like the wolf. It's okay. <laughs> it's the reflex. Yes. yes. <laughs> I don't All right. I don't have a queued up, unfortunately. <laughs> 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 it's me so damn long. Like the, I know what you're doing. Let's stretch it out, Al John. Stretch it out. He's looking. He's looking for the band, right? I can't find the clip. So, all right. So, my number three. And I, there's part of me that wonders how he has not made it here yet. Weird Al Yankovic. <laughs> oh, my oh my gosh. I mean, tell me. Yeah. You wouldn't enjoy watching him do Skipper Dan at the American Gardens Theater. Yeah, that's weird. You know, he's never done. He's never done it. Isn't it weird? True. Yeah. I mean, you would think that somebody, if there was ever an act that would have been at home in a theme park, it would have to be Weird Al. Yeah, totally. I agree. And he puts on a good show. <laughs> He's got so many hits, too. He's got yeah, pick, pick so whichever hits. one you like. Seriously. Yeah. Yeah, oh, you're geez. right. What a, what a, what a great Al. theme park. Yeah. Um, attraction he'd be just the weird owl ride the weird owl experience yeah. just the weird owl experience maybe they maybe they should uh, put him in future world <laughs> just replace everything just replace everything with a weird owl experience yeah. well you know they could they could put him in the odyssey restaurant you know oh, they put him in the odyssey <laughs> there you go that would make sense it's got enough for that just have an audio animatronic version kind of like sunny eclipse only with wilder hair nice i like that bad hair day yeah, exactly. Bad hair day, Al. I like it. Jeff. <laughs> Three band comes from way down under, all the way in Australia, from back oh. in the uh, early 70s. Oh. Early leave you thunderstruck. They'll shake you all night long, and they will literally put you back in black. <laughs> AC DC. Nice. Love I thought that's where you were going. Another pivotal moment in just music history. And again, great for the demographic of the Food and Wine Festival is AC DC for the Food and Wine Concert Series. Just... And plus there is the Disney connection because they used back in black for the interstitials. Yeah. When they were when they were promoting Lilo and Stitch, and they were having like Stitch crash all these classic Disney movies, saying there's one in every family. Yes, so you get long since I've seen that. I totally forgot yeah, about that. Great, yes, great and every Iron Man movie practically. Yeah, yeah, pretty much. Oh yeah, pretty much. Yeah, yeah, that is true. Funny enough, Brian Johnson, their singer, is from Central Florida. Right, well, but unfortunately, uh, they're going. They're they're going to be retiring, are they not? After this tour, maybe. I believe. The, I believe. Good opportunity to get them to go to Walt Disney World. There you <laughs> for go. A couple of nights. <laughs> yeah. Brian Johnson, you've just retired as part of ACDC. Where are you going? I'm going to Disney World. Yeah. Oh, that's so good, <laughs> Eric. <laughs> Dude, that was awesome. Oh my god. That was that was great. <laughs> oh geez. Oh my goodness. Yeah, you kill it, man. Like you kill that. it. <laughs> that is <laughs> that is so good. That is so so terribly good. Um okay. So are we Your back? Uh, who's my number three? Okay. So yes. I'm just gonna play this clip and you guys can figure out the band here. Go. 
this band was one of my favorite all-time bands growing up. And um, it's funny, you know, you would think that I have, here we go, here we go. Here that chorus. You would think that I would have a tremendous amount of 80s hair metal bands. Um, if you know me and you see all the guitars in the background. Um, but since I disqualified Van Halen already, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you did. Earlier in the yeah, show, you did. I, I went ahead and took that out. But uh, yeah, it would be nice to see Van Halen. But Tears for Fears, I think would would totally fit. I I believe that that band, um, along with In Excess, you know, I don't necessarily think that that, you know, they. I think they would be a, probably even better fit uh, in terms of budget, just realistically, you know, for for the Eat to the Be Conscious series. So. But that's just me. So Tears for Fears, number two. Okay, my number two. It's a uh, group that started off down in the great state of Texas back in the mid-70s. Uh, they have a lead singer who's a guy, but his name is Kim, and featured at one time one of the fabulous Vaughn Brothers as guitarists. I'm talking about the Fabulous Thunderbirds. Yeah. Ooh, good one. And my mother had Tough Enough on vinyl. She's she's a huge blues person, and for her birthday uh, a few months back, I had to like make her this this mix CD that she put in her car. It's like three or four CDs long. And it had them. It had like Muddy Waters, BB King, Howlin' Wolf, and just some others. But I've I've really become a fan of theirs. In, and they're such a great years. band, man. That's awesome. Yeah. <laughs> What a great video, too. Yes. It's kind of like the Robert Palmer. <laughs> yeah. But they've got that that Texas blues sound that's just, it's, it's not quite blues, but it ain't quite rock either. It's kind of the best parts of both. Well, you could say that about a lot of the, the type of, you know, not Steve Ray Vaughan, but like even ZZ Top in the eighties was very kind yeah. of synth heavy. Yeah. You know, uh, to have that pop appeal. So I'm, yeah. I'm totally down with the fabulous Thunderbirds, man. What a great band. Mm. Oh yeah, they are good. Don't tell me you wanted they to play guitar good. for them too. I didn't because I know I can't play like Stevie or, okay. or Jimmy Vaughn. So okay. they are just too damn good. They're just some guitar players. You just don't ever want to touch And the Vaughn brothers. Yeah. Is, is part of that. I'd be I'd be lucky. I mean, and I love playing Steve or Yvonne on the guitar, but oh my god, you know, they're between Steve or Yvonne and Jimi Hendrix and Eddie Van Halen, those those are like untouchable guitar gods for me. So yeah. Uh, so damn good. Jeff. Number two takes us across the pond uh, to a gentleman who is not only a singer, but he is a songwriter. He is a composer as well. Uh, this guy's even met the Queen of England, for crying out loud. <laughs> He's well known for composing, you know, several different songs for Disney's 1994, including Circle of Life, I Just Can't Wait to Be King, Hakuna Matata, tonight, and we can't even begin to name all the other number one hits. And he's even got the word Sir before his name, and that would be Sir Elton John. One of my favorites. So good. I wish I could write The man is... Uh, Jeff, do you have the box musical? set? I do not have the box set. I do oh not. I wish I did. 
He is a I, musical genius. Musical he genius. Mm-hmm. He is. Man, this has been an awesome episode oh, so far. Bad. I'm getting <laughs> so many memories, and I'm thinking about my playlists and my box sets of CDs that I don't listen to anymore. <laughs> I, have, I have all my MP3s now. It's like, oh my I God. I mean, God. I never would have thought, never would have thought that a gentleman who wore a suit in the color of orange with glasses, sunglasses twice as big as his face and a top hat with a feather on, on the top of it, and then the thing around his neck and everything would turn out to be one of the most influential singer-songwriter composers of our time, literally. The day that this man is no longer on this earth, the world is literally going to weep for Elton John, much like they did for Michael Jackson. He is just mm, totally amazing. Love him. Love Elton John. Sir Elton John, we apologize in advance if you just juiced you and you wind up dead. (laughs) But we promise we're going to put you in an animatronic version right next to Starship. Oh, yeah, definitely. (laughs) Most definitely, yeah. So good. The Rocket Man. The Rocket Man. So good. And by the way, one of the best guests on The Muppet Show, coincidentally. Yes. I loved him because yeah. he was trying to get out of that outrageously dressed phase. And the Muppets wanted him to keep in it for at least one more show. So he compromised. He did mm-hmm. one, pretty much one really outrageously feathery outfit. And it got ruined very early on. Yeah, man. So here we are. So uh, I, I almost feel like we need to do like a um, a round of like uh, uh, what's the word I'm looking for? Honor, we still got to do mentions. your number two, you know. Well, here's my number two. Well, let's do an honorable mention to the me. You can hear that. Yes. One of my all-time favorite bands of all time. I came so close to putting them on my list. Oh, man. I mean, Cheap Trick for me is Rock and Roll Royalty in the Hall of Fame. Oh, yeah. Yep. So, uh, funny story about this band, uh, Cheap Trick, is that uh, people at work knew that I was a big fan of Cheap Trick, so when they came into town to do a private party, um, they wanted me to pick them up and drive them around town all day. So I hung out with them all day. <laughs> so uh, it was great. It was great to hang out with my heroes. It doesn't happen Sweet. very often. It doesn't happen very often, but I love Cheap Trick. Uh, my guitar, my guitar. one of my favorite guitarists of all time is Rick Nielsen, and I totally stole every gimmick I ever had from, from Cheap Trick. Uh, the way I used to play guitar and the way I used to look uh, when I played in my my band, and they're they're just awesome. So, cheap trick. One of these days, one of these days, that would be nice to see them. There you go. <laughs> Absolutely, man. Oh man. <clears throat> so that's my number two. Okay, my number one is another band that is currently based in Texas, but actually started up. In where was it? In West Virginia. Mm. They have won nine Grammy Awards since 1970. And they have put more than 20 singles on the Billboard country charts. They are asleep at the wheel. Wow. Nice. Very, very, uh, very cool. I like it's it. very it's, it's got a very a Texas swing kind of feel to it. Yes. So we go from Texas blues to Texas swing and I think I think that right that would be good. I've seen them I've seen video of them in concert and I have not had the pleasure of seeing them actually live in concert. But they put on a they put on a very entertaining show and I think they would do very well. Yeah, they are. Believe it or not they're doing something for the Gibson showroom right here. I don't know. Dude, 
I'm going to the river, take a rocking chair. If the blues overtake me, rock away from there. The Lord, will tell me how long. Lord, tell me how long. Will I have to wait? Will I have to wait? Can I get you now? Can we get you now? Must I hesitate? So I'm going to have to send you that link because it did it in my office. <laughs> and I had no idea you're such a big fan of Asleep at the Wheel, man. I am a fan of Asleep at the Wheel. I just, okay, well, maybe just... next time they come to maybe next time they come to your town, you give me a buzz so I can uh, maybe hook you up. Oh man, I would so. Do... My mom and dad are also big fans of theirs as well. So it's kind of well, like, well, yeah. how could you not? They're they're really yeah. they're really good band, really good band. Yeah, so, very. And of course, they had them. They they had collision course on vinyl and i didn't cool it quite appreciate it at the time they were wearing out the record but uh, i i have grown to realize that my mom and dad actually had some decent musical taste nice and now i think i have the album on vinyl <laughs> very good i like it i, like I it. claimed <laughs> it from them when nice. they weren't looking <laughs> How about you, Jeff? <laughs> oh, my number one? Oh, yes. now, John, just go ahead and, and cue up the music now. Uh, okay. Just go ahead and, and, and get it queued up. I just, just, just give me a second. You know, she's an Asheville native now, so I have to... Yeah, yeah she, she is, but uh, originally from Chicota, Oklahoma. <laughs> she's an Oki. Uh, winner of American Idol in 2005. Uh, did dip into the Disney, you know... Uh, area for a very short time, but it was a good one. Uh, she did the song Ever, Ever After in 2007, the Disney movie Enchanted. A list, a long list of number one hits uh, that she has done ever since uh, she got into country music. And uh, if anybody knows who I am as a person and who I like and who I will give up anything for in life, and if she were to show up at the American Gardens Theater for the Each of the Beat concert series, I would wait in line for days upon days, and I would be that fanboy right there at the center of the stage with tears in my eyes as <laughs> Carrie Underwood would come to the stage. That is my all-time wish. Well... Well, and if it, if anybody if anybody has seen that video before, she looks fantastic in that leather in that video. Uh, just, she uh, she just does. To let you know, she does. Oh, God, did, did I happen to mention to you, Jeff, that she's often found at uh, Nashville Predators games because of her now husband. Oh yeah, you guys have mentioned it quite think, quite a few times. You know, I think um, we saw her in the stands in the box seats. You're correct. When, uh, when we went, yeah. You're right, Eric. You're right. Quite possibly. You may have. Jeff, yeah. Jeff, you know, Eric's Eric's been with us to a Predators <sighs> game. You're next, buddy. You're next. Man. Jeff, mm -hmm. make it up mm -hmm. here. <laughs> I'll drive the rest of the way. <laughs> You'll drive the rest of the way. Go to the Preds. Yeah, go to a Preds <laughs> game, man. We'll 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 we'll, we'll put yeah, you up. Yeah. We'll put everybody up in the Casa de Go for a night just bring your air mattress you know and we'll just hang out and we'll do a live show and we'll, we'll talk about carrie underwood and we'll invite her over to our place over twitter <laughs> we'll see if she comes do, over. do you know where she lives can we drive drive by her house you know so be, I could at least... well I, I can't say that because otherwise i'd be known as a stalker so yeah i can't divulge that information <laughs> but you that know where she tends to be a <laughs> little frowned upon it's like al john do you know where taylor swift is i have no idea <laughs> no clue no clue whatsoever so yeah I have my no idea one. she lives down this road and hang a right. I have no idea yeah. she'd be the third house on the left. No, yeah, no, no. I mean, no. I know where she lives, but I do know she visits the Starbucks quite frequently every Friday at 8 a.m. Um, no, I, I really don't. Oh, if that were true. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but uh, yeah. I, 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 when it comes to Carrie Underwood, good golly, Miss Molly. Okay, so. <laughs> Thank you, Jeff. I like Ooh. that. All right. Well, I, I was wondering how long it would take before we actually had a female artist on the countdown. You know, so this is my number one pick, and um, you know, even though it's not you know a band, um, you know, Jeff had uh, mentioned Journey and a lot of these great bands. You know, I'd love to see 
Aerosmith come around. They're one of my favorite rock bands of all time. Probably the best American rock band of all time. Uh, I will I, I will give mine, and then I probably will give Kristen's um, Kristen's number one too because she's not here to uh, to, to participate in this. So, uh, but I have a, a, a an idea of who she will vote for her number one. But this is this is actually mine. You say I only hear what I want to believe it or not. <laughs> So yes, I like the librarians. Oh, Eric, that would be you. <laughs> Dude, you're married. Nah, it's true. I am married. Um, no, I, I'm. I'm going to be honest. I was not expecting Lisa Loeb. Yep. So uh, Lisa Loeb, uh, I think once again, she would be great with the type of of bands i haven't mentioned a female artist i knew i needed to include one um and i think lisa would be a great addition you know we had um vanessa carlton who only did one eat uh eat to the beat because she have a she has a very foul mouth uh she's probably the only artist i know that has ever gotten herself banned from performing at eat to the beat concert series but um if i'm not mistaken but Lisa Loeb, she is family friendly. She's a lot of fun. She's a great person, and yet another artist I've met who is really, really, really nice. So um, I'm I'm all about that. So that's my number one. Believe it or not. Now there is a there is a uh, artist that I think Kristen would appreciate to just to kind of button up the show, and. Um, this is going to be one that you guys will appreciate, I'm sure. Um, <laughs> here you go. This is this is Kristen. Oh no 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 no! no. I think she's a fan. I think she's a fan of the new kids on the block, folks. Oh god! You can talk to her about this. Oh, Every time this goes was. on, I have to. We we we, we have to crank it up. <laughs> I would have been okay with 98 degrees or in sync or backstreet boys or oh gee whiz but there you go there you go Jeff hey, here you go this is for you oh. <laughs> now I feel like I've been rickrolled on this show all of a sudden it just... <laughs> when, she, when, she, when she comes when, when she comes back on the show, you can ask her about it. What are her, just really quick, we'll run down her, her top five bands. But, um, you know, I definitely could have said uh, Debbie Gibson because Tiffany does the, the show now. And uh, Debbie, yeah, Debbie, Debbie would has be that, fantastic. So yeah. We have Debbie Gibson on the show. That would be great. So you got you to gotta pull her away from Broadway long enough to do anything. No kidding, right? You know, and there are so many great acts that we could have pulled from. I want to know what some of your favorite bands are. Uh, you know, they could be Soundgarden for all I care, I guess, you know, since we're, we're, we're shooting like that. Um, I don't know if Guns N' Roses would be a family friendly act, but uh, you can, one could always try, <laughs> one could always hope. Um, and if ACDC does, in fact, uh, play each of the B concert series, maybe Axl Rose will be singing for them. I think that'll be a different type of show, Jeff. If he um, has any voice left, uh, he might. Has any voice so. left, that's true. Or even Def Leppard, that would also be quite interesting. So, um, yeah, I guys, would, yeah. what? I think that those are awesome uh, bands to have on a list. Any other additions, any other discussion about our favorite, uh, our, you know, what bands we want to see play the E to the B concert series. I do have an honorable or, mention. You have an honorable mention. Go ahead. I have an honorable mention. Riders in the sky. Well, all right. Wow. Comedy. Very eclectic, Eric. The, comedy. They've done Disney stuff already. Mm -hmm. I mean, you can't tell me that it wouldn't be nice to get in there and have them do like Woody's Roundup or Big High Wire Hop or, or You've Got a Friend in Me. Yes. I, I think that would go over well. I think so. Jeff, do you have a, do you have a honorable mention? And you actually posted a video about this guy uh, a few weeks ago, I guess. Not a lot of people hear from him very often. Uh, but Phil Collins would be a fantastic addition to the E to the B concert series. Oh, man. You ain't kidding. You ain't kidding. Phil Collins or Genesis or... Oh. oh. 
I'm yeah. just glad he's playing drums again. Now that he had his back surgery, he's, he's doing really well. And also, he, he seems legend. like he's doing very, very well. Yeah, mm-hmm. definitely. Yeah. Did some music for uh, Tarzan, you know. So, absolutely, absolutely. Um, I think what would be kind of cool, you know, we're living in that nostalgia. So I, I could, I, I might mention, um, you know, a band like, well. I guess it would be really cool to have the police. That's kind of really wishful thinking, you know, the police would be awesome to have. Yeah. But yeah. I think that in terms of like those, those type of, those type of eighties uh, kind of bands, um, it might be cool to have, uh, well, I was going to say the go-go's. <laughs> so we're on the same page. <laughs> we're on the same page. Yeah, I, don't believe, I don't believe those bands have performed uh, eat to the beat at all. And I know they're still touring. Um, and, that would be great to see any of those bands. So uh, I wonder what kind of bands our listeners and our viewers would like to see perform at the Eat to the Beat concert series. Uh, leave a question or leave your comment uh, on social media or in a response to this video posted on YouTube or on our social media pages at www.afterdark.com. Our Facebook and Twitter links are there as well as the hotline. And um, we had some people respond about the Jasmine con- uh controversy with the costumes and and so many more things so hopefully when all four of us are back uh, we'll be able to discuss more about uh, the different topics that we have yet to uh, to actually talk about uh, so on to wdw after dark and until next time don't forget it's better after dark we'll see you next time bye-bye